Earlier in the course, you learned about financial and operating statements and the differences between the two. You also heard about the big four of financial and operating statements, profit and loss statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and capital expenditure. So you must be asking a question, why the big four? Why should you learn about the four types of financial and operating statement? What is so special about them? I will answer that question by telling you a story. The story comes from an ancient Indian parable and it's called the blind man and the elephant. Six blind men came across an elephant. Somebody had told them that it was an elephant. The blind men started asking, what is the elephant like? Then they began to touch its body. One of them said, it's a fan. This blind man had only touched its ears. Another said, it's a spear. This blind man had touched its tusk. Yet another said, it's a wall. This blind man had climbed up and was touching the elephant's massive body side. Another said, it is a rope. This blind man had got hold of the elephant's tail. The fifth said, it is a snake. He was feeling the elephant's trunk. Finally, the sixth man said, it is a tree. This blind man had gotten hold of one of the elephant's front leg, which was as thick as a tree trunk. A passerby who could see the animal fully stopped all of them dead in their tracks and told them that it is an elephant, which is an animal with ears, eyes, trunk, tusks, tail, and a big body. He told them not to look at the parts individually, but put them together, see relationships, and then conclude what it looks like and what it is. What is the connection of the ancient parable with our optimizing hotel profits course and this video segment on your big four? As it turns out, there is a huge connection. The moral of the story applies equally to your big four. Let me explain by bringing in the four lead characters in our story of your big four. Each of these financial statements play a role and looking at them individually will be like the blind men who were touching individual parts of the elephant's body and arriving at a conclusion. But you will want to know how. I will now prove to you this principle. It is often known as the big picture overview. Welcome to the first character in our story, the profit and loss statement. The profit and loss statement is called the performance statement. It is the statement which measures business activities of your hotel during a particular month. The performance statement answers questions relating to revenues, expenses and profits for the period. It also answers questions of increase or decrease of revenues, expenses and profits over last year. Despite its power, the profit and loss statement suffers from a big shortcoming. It would only show part of the picture, the performance or business results of the hotel. For example, it did not tell you what happens to the assets that actually produce the revenues during the month, which the profit and loss statement records and shows. A different kind of financial statement is needed to answer these kind of questions. That financial statement is your balance sheet. This is the second character in our story. While the profit and loss statement is called the performance statement, the balance sheet is called the financial position statement. It is a statement showing assets, liabilities and capital of your hotel. The financial position statement answers questions relating to the assets, liabilities and capital of your hotel. Financial position tells you what the hotel owns and what it owes. Despite its power, the balance sheet also, like the profit and loss statement earlier, suffers from a big shortcoming. It also shows only part of the picture, the financial position in general of the hotel. For example, it cannot tell you how much change took place in your cash balances from various sources between last and this month. 
It also could not tell you what cash flow your hotel might need in the future. So the first two characters of our story, the profit and loss statement and the balance sheet, in spite of being powerful, still had shortcomings. The third character in our story is the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is called the cash movement statement. In other words, how much did the cash balances change between previous and current period? How much was the inflow, outflow and net flow? The cash movement statement answers questions relating to cash balance movements and sources of inflow and outflow. It talks about changes to cash balances, not the cash balances themselves. Alas, the cash flow statement has a huge shortcoming. It is able to give you information only related to cash. For example, if you needed to know whether you had an approved budget for buying kitchen equipment or whether your laundry equipment needed to be replaced, the cash flow statement is unable to assist. While the profit and loss statement is called the performance statement, the balance sheet, the financial position statement, the cash flow, the cash movement statement, the capital expenditure statement is called the fixed assets statement. It mainly works with fixed assets, although some related elements are also considered. The fixed asset statement answers questions relating to fixed assets. What is the life of your laundry equipment? Is there a need to renovate your guest room interiors and so forth? Alas, the capital expenditure statement also has a huge shortcoming. It is able to give you information only related to fixed assets. For example, if you wanted to know what your inventory of food and beverage were and whether that was adequate, or you wanted to know how much you owed your equipment suppliers, the capital expenditure statement was unable to provide that information. So what is the lesson we have derived from our story of the four lead characters, profit and loss statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and the capital expenditure statement? Just like the six blind men story, you cannot be looking at financial statements in parts. You must be able to get the full picture, the big picture. Too many finance courses focus on analyzing individual financial statements without understanding that the power is bringing them together and looking at the entire picture. Only when you look at the full picture, you will be able to understand the relationships among them. This is what makes your decision making powerful. Each of these financial statements play a role and looking at them individually will be like the blind men who were touching individual parts of the elephant's body and arriving at incorrect conclusions. This method is often known as the big picture overview. The power in your decision making comes from looking at your big four together, seeing relationships among them and harnessing those relationships. It is what will empower you to optimize profits in your operation. This is your big four. Go and optimize profits in your operation. See you in the next video segment. <music>